okay guys uh, today we will discuss about one of the important uh, concurrency pattern which is called producer consumer design pattern okay producer consumer design pattern is a classic concurrency or threading pattern which reduce the coupling between producer and consumer and separately execute of the work in producer consumer design pattern a shared queue is used to control the flow this separation allows us to code pro producer and consumer separately and this design pattern also deal with the speed of producer and consumer because the speed of producer and consumer threads might be different in the real world uh, let's uh, relate with let's relate this uh, problem with the uh, real world suppose uh, there is a restaurant okay there is a restaurant suppose there are two persons one is preparing the food and the another is serving the food okay one person is preparing the food and second is serving the food and there is one table one table in which the person who is preparing the food will put the food on the table and the server the serving people okay will take the food from the table and distribute to the customers okay in this case if the table is full the producer that means that food making people uh, person will stop and if the table is empty then the distributor then the second person who distribute the food or you can say consumer will stop to distribute stop will stop distributing okay so let's see it with a classic example okay so let's create a class producer consumer produces consumer example click public street board when yes we are not public street main method in our class okay as i said producer consumer design pattern allow us to separate the code of producer and consumer that means we can write code in different classes right so to perform different operations let's create two class one is called producer class producer cos it will implements runable and let's override our favorite method run method okay let's create object of let's declare object of private final blocking queue uh, since there are couple of ways to create producer consumer example one of them is using blocking queue okay blocking queue was introduced with jdk5 okay blocking queue is a, a interface hmm. and the implementing class of that blocking queue interface is r linked blocking queue and array blocking queue okay so we will uh, see it after uh, later in this video so let's create an instance of blocking queue block shared queue let, let's name it shared queue q u e u e okay since it is a final we need to initiate it and we will initiate it our constructor let create the constructor of producer class okay let's create okay so producer and 
inside producer we will pass the object of locking queue and we will initiate this locking queue inside this our constructor this dot shared queue is equal to shared queue okay now inside our run method let's put number between 1 to 10 in the object of this shared queue block object of blocking queue which represents it shared queue okay so let's start for int i is equal to 1 i less than equal to 10 i plus plus So, as we know, uh, blocking queue have two method: put and take. Put method is used to add the element, put the element inside the object of blocking queue, and the take method is used to retrieve that, retrieve the elements from the object of blocking queue. Okay. So let's put some elements. That means elements. in our blocking queue whatever uh, inside the for loop whatever uh, numbers is coming inside the loop okay 1 to 10 okay so let's put shared queue dot put i so generally it will put 1 to 10 inside this our object of blocking queue of course we need to surround it with triquet block okay and uh, more important importantly it throws interrupted exception okay so before putting uh, our element inside that object of blocking queue let's print it and check we are putting in our producer let's indicate it producer i okay let's similarly create one more class consumer which will print all the elements inside shared queue okay so actually uh, in process in producer class we are putting the elements okay so we can term it as a producer and in our second class we will use those elements to print of course for print okay but it is not adding any elements we are just using the elements of the blocking queue object so we may, we may term it as a consumer class consumer implements runnable of course we need to avoid our darling method run method okay. and again we need to define the instance of blocking queue private final blocking queue shared queue and we need to initiate it in our constructor consumer okay we will pass the object of blocking queue we will initiate it shared queue equal to 
Now inside our run method, we will print all the elements which is added in our producer class. We will print all those elements. Okay. So why true infinite loop while true. Let's print it. Sys out consumer. Third Q to tech. Okay. So yes, we need to surround it with try case block. So now we have two classes producer and consumer. Producer is putting elements inside the object of blocking queue and consumer is printing all those elements. So this is a case of pure concurrency. Okay. So uh, we, of course we will create two thread. Okay with referring this producer and consumer class and they will execute uh, parallelly ok so let's start so before that we need to create the object of blocking queue blocking queue shared queue is equal to new as i said uh, blocking queue is a interface Okay, there are a couple of classes who implement this. Uh, the first one is a linked blocking queue and the second one is array blocking queue. So let's uh, see this example with linked blocking queue. Okay. Now create two thread. Create producer. Let's see, name it as a producer. New thread, and inside the constructor, constructor of this thread class, we call. We will create the instance of object of our producer class. Producer and pass the object our blocking queue. Okay, so inside the uh, so we need to pass the object of blocking queue to the constructor of producer class. Similarly, let's create another thread for consumer new thread, and we will pass the object of consumer class. And inside the constructor of consumer class, we will pass the object of this blocking queue. Now, uh, two thread has been created. Okay, and we need to start them by calling a start method. Producer dot start consumer dot start. Okay, now uh, our coding has been done. Okay, we have created one producer class, the consumer class, producer class. Put the put elements between one to ten, number one to ten, and consumer class print all those elements which we have put in our object of blocking queue. Okay and uh, here in our main method we have created two uh, two threads by referring producer class and consumer class and uh, we have started those uh, threads so our expected uh, output is 
uh, they, these two threads will uh, run concurrently and concurrently and uh, print the number between 1 to 10 inside producer as well as consumer so let's close the finger and check the output let's run as java application wow we got the output one producer 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 consumer so producer consumer okay now you can see you, you can see that we have printed numbers before putting the number into object of blocking queue okay so these are the numbers we have uh, we can see here and similarly inside uh, consumer uh, also we have checked that means we also also we have printed those numbers so that's all for this video keep watching